Hey there guys, so Rob McCracken's comments about him knowing Anthony Joshua had concussion in that third round have been blown way out of proportion. And Brain Charity, Headway, called it a shocking admission, saying that he just left Anthony Joshua in that ring to die. Now, that is a bit strong, but Rob McCracken has come back with comments in response to that. This is what Rob McCracken had to say. I am not a doctor, and it may be that concussed is not the right term to have used. The health of boxers I work with is of paramount importance to me, and I have always used my judgment and experience to do what is right for them. There is no formal concussion protocol where the doctor steps in and assesses the boxer, so you have to use your experience as a coach and your knowledge of the person to make a decision on whether you think they can recover. I have had this a number of times in my career in professional boxing where boxers have recovered from a difficult round to go on to win the fight. I have also pulled boxers out of fights because I knew it was not in their interest to continue. I know him better than all these experts who don't know him or have met him once or twice, so I knew he was concussed and I'm trying to get him through a few more rounds, one round at a time, and see where he's at. He was glazy eyed from when he got caught with the initial shot in the third round and he carried that with him until the end. He wasn't responding how he should. I've been working with him for nine years now and I knew he wasn't quite where he needed to be. He was asking me why he was feeling this way. So that's what Rob McCracken has had to say in response to these critics. Now obviously Rob McCracken knew something was wrong. Anyone would know something was wrong after being knocked down twice and hit with a hard punch behind the ear that he did not see coming. And Anthony Joshua, after he got caught, there was, I think, two more punches that landed. He tried to walk backwards and retreat from the assault of Andy Ruiz Jr., but his legs stiffened, and as he tried to walk backwards, he just couldn't. His feet stayed where they were, and his body went backwards. That is why he fell back over. And obviously, Andy Ruiz Jr. was knocked down before that, but did not suffer the same as what Anthony Joshua did, because Anthony Joshua was hit with hard punches he did not anticipate. So it was highly likely that Anthony Joshua was suffering from concussion after that punch and after the third round and continuing until the seventh round. He was unable to recover and that was just down to Andy Ruiz Jr. working the body and not allowing Anthony Joshua to recover, not allowing Anthony Joshua to box at range or do anything and ultimately Anthony Joshua couldn't box at range because his legs were so stiff he couldn't use his feet to get out of range or anything. Really all he could do was probably tie Andy Ruiz Jr. up and after a punch like that and suffering concussion, Anthony Joshua probably wasn't going to recover. And when he went down in the seventh and then down straight away again after getting up, it was it was the end for Anthony Joshua. The ref made a good call in stopping the fight then. But furthermore, it is the ref's job to stop the fight, and he did. Rob McCracken, yeah, he can pull his fighter out, but the ref also has a job to do as well. He probably should have noticed the concussion more so than what Rob McCracken did. So if the ref is not expressing his concerns to the corner, then perhaps they can have the opportunity to allow Anthony Joshua to try and win a few rounds or get back into the fight. Remember, the referee should know when a fighter has concussion because that is what he is there to do. He is there solely to save a fighter from himself. And he didn't until the seventh round when he believed that Anthony Joshua was in no fighting condition to continue the fight, whereas a trainer's job is to try and get their fighter through the fight, get him through the rounds and get him to the end, the final bell, or when he can knock his opponent out. That is a trainer's job. And of course, they should pull their fighters out when they believe that the fighter is in immediate harm or danger. So Rob McCracken did not feel that way. And I'd say it's highly likely that a towel would have came in if Anthony Joshua was allowed to continue in the seventh round after being knocked down twice. He was down twice, there was no way he was going to be able to continue. And the knockdowns came in quick succession. So probably after that second knockdown in the seventh round, the towel probably would have came in when Andy Ruiz Jr. stepped in to try and close the show. I'd imagine the towel would have came in if the ref did not stop it. But anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Rob McCracken responding to his critics saying that he left Anthony Joshua to die in the ring after being concussed. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.